a free kill coupon here. I just wanted to do a little video today about this uh, tabletop simulator. Great game, eleven ninety nine. It had a little sale. I'm not sure if it's still going on. That's U.S. currency. But uh, yeah, you can import custom decks. Uh, basically, play your own card games. This game does have a variety of uh, game modes that are already on the download once you get it. Um, you know, you can play cards. You know, just any type of generic card game or what have you. But, uh, anyways, what I want to show you today is how to import a custom deck. I actually made my own not too long ago. This will take a few minutes to load, but as it's doing that, I'll go ahead and just show you what you need. Uh, some type of paint program. You Photoshop, Paint. I use Paint.net. Open, <coughs> open source. I use a lot of primarily open source programs. I do have a passion for free programs, but I understand, you know, get more bang for your buck for a high-end uh, program. Anyways, uh, you can use paint.net, what have you, and uh, what you're going to want to do is use a template, and the template that they have is provided when you download the game. To navigate it, it's going to be different depending on what OS that you're using, but program files, 86, 32, what have you, and you're going to want to find your Steam folder. Once you find your Steam folder, you're going to go to Steam Apps. And within the Steam apps, you are going to go to Common. Now, Common is going to be the list of games that are currently installed uh, on your console. So, uh, go to Tabletop Simulator, and there should be a template. This is what you're going to be using. You're, I would not modify anything. Just save a duplicate just in case something happens. And, I mean, it's fairly simple to replicate. Uh... You can use cards 1 through 69, uh, that extra spot right here on the bottom, I don't really mess with, I just keep it blank, I erase hidden card to other players. But copy paste the individual images, or write, draw your own, write little text or what have you on each individual one. Now once you are completed, you're going to need to upload it to some type of image hosting site. and one of the ones that I use, you can use your own just as long as you know that that individual item will stay within that domain because if it is removed you will have to upload it again and get the new URL address from there. If you do go to Imager, you do not have to register for the site. You can upload whatever images that you want and retrieve the image URL. Some of these are hyperlinks so click just to make sure so it doesn't take you to any primary secondary uh, URLs. So just get the uh, URL from that image and then you would post it within the program. Now to get to that you go to well, where is that? Spawn Objects, Cards, and then Custom Deck. And As you see here it gives you you know what you really need to know. It has to be saved as a JPEG which I think is the default save function on most paint and paint.net uh, projects. And this is going to be the back picture. This is what you're going to see on the back of the card. And then uh, face pictures. And it mentions the template can be found in the game folder. And we just went through there, got to the template. I'll pull it up for you again. Now for this actual game, you can load multiple uh, custom decks at the same time. Uh, I would advise that you try to keep it as minimal as possible. Try to keep it to two templates, or three at most. And the reason why I say that is because individuals that load into your game will experience a little bit of stuttery lag. Because they're, uh, I'm not sure if it's the servers or the game is just trying to retrieve it and upload them. I, I think this game only has like one server at the moment. You can't really log into different areas. Anyways, uh... You can make your own custom deck. You know, I press Alt, it'll enlarge the image. But yeah, copy, paste, you know, took a generic uh, Uno deck, which was provided on uh, Imager. I'm not sure how I can actually pull up the name. Yes, Firesticks. Uh, no spaces, S T I X. He actually uploaded this a month ago. He already has uh, 1,300 views. But uh, once again, you'd upload the template and stay within the lines but once you do have the amount that you need 
right here at the bottom is going to say number of cards, 2 to 70. If you do have multiple little images you want to load, uh, different types of templates, what have you, I would recommend that you just put it all on one. Just put it all on one so they all spawn at the same time. You delete the ones that you do not want and keep the ones that you do. And uh, I actually am using two different back cards and a few different templates. But uh, it does reduce the amount of load time for the new users that wish to join your game. Let me see if I can find a uh, Pokemon card. Yeah, right here. I mean, come on. How silly is that? How silly is that? You can flip the card. Hit Alt. You got Charizard. You know, and everyone that joins your game, they're going to be able to see this. You know, whatever you have on here. And I don't believe that there's actually a... Is there a report function? I don't think there's a report function. Just block, block players. That's it. Um... Once again, I mean, it's amazing what this game has offered and uh, it being in its alpha stages or just going into beta. Uh, I'm very, very happy that we do have this type of game that is uh, fairly inexpensive and accessible by a ma large majority. Uh, I know that the D&D community is going to pick up on this. Uh, I mean, you can spawn individual items. You're not able to import 3D models. But with how the Steam Workshop is uh, going, I wouldn't be surprised if later you're able to import those models and just imagine the amount of things you'd be able to do then. But uh, once again, custom decks. Uh, I just sort of feel that this game's a little under the radar and uh, has so many customizable features to it. I just thought I'd share this one with y'all. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, you can put them down below. Uh, this is Free Kill Coupon, and I'm out.